Joining us now is Missouri Senator Kit Bond, who has been critical of Brennan. He's also vice chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee. Uh, Senator, thanks for being with us. Let's put that uh, graphic on the screen because I want to ask you your reaction to it. Here's what the White House said about you. We regret Senator Bond's assault on Mr. Brennan and urge everyone to resist the temptation to play politics on these very serious matters of national security. Senator, wasn't it Brennan that first politicized this when he blamed you Republicans for, quote, politically motivated fear mongering and aiding Al Qaeda? John Brennan, as the National Security Advisor on Intelligence for the President, knew last January that the President had taken away the interrogation responsibility from the CIA and they were going to set one up. We found out on Christmas Day that there was not one set up. Uh, and then Mr. B Mr. Brennan uh, went uh, on and took on the role of the White House press office uh, to make those attacks. Next, uh, he said uh, that uh, I and the eight other, seven other members of Congress who had been briefed knew, of course, that uh, Abdullah Mattalib would be given his legal rights not to speak or Mirandize, and that just simply was not true. Neither the current congressional leaders nor the uh, intelligence community knew that they were going to Miranda. Are you telling me he was lying? Well, uh, he was m mistaken in what he told us uh, because none of us were told they were going to Miranda. But look, my real argument is with the administration's policy. Yeah. The world changed on 9-11-2001. We found out that treating uh, terrorists as uh, common criminals didn't work cost of thousands of lives right. and I am concerned <laughs> that the current administration has right. gone back to those pre-11 9-11 policies well which let me ask you safe. about that I mean look you called for Brennan's resignation the White House reacted to your call for the resignation by calling that a quote-unquote pathetic attack will you back down or do you still believe that John Brennan needs to go the most important thing, and if we can get one message to the White House, is start treating these terrorists who come in not as common criminals, but as enemy combatants. And unfortunately, Mr. Brennan right. has uh, not been able to do that, and uh, there has to be a wholesale change. Well, let, let me and ask you about that status, sir. enemy combatant, because just a or so ago, Robert Gibbs was on another network, and he was asked very directly, would you, if it happens again, are you going to Mirandize uh, the same way you did Abdul Muttalib? And he said the next time something happens, it will most likely not be like what happened in Detroit, just as Detroit wasn't like the previous attack. Question then was, well, sounds like uh, the government feels it Mirandized too soon. Gibbs said, that's not true. What do you make of that? <laughs> well, it was true. Uh, and the leaders of the intelligence community, the director of national intelligence, director of the counterterrorism uh, center, were shocked that he had been Mirandized because he had very valuable information. Now, Mr. Gibbs and Mr. Brennan uh, justified uh, giving, warning him he could shut up mm -hmm. by saying, we got all the information we needed in that 50 minutes of questioning. That's ridiculous. Anybody who's been engaged in, in intelligence knows that in 50 minutes, you can't get all the background and, and ask the questions you need to ask. Well, and Senator, so the fact that they're now started, saying he finally that started he's... Talking, the fact they're now saying he's talking again, doesn't that negate their claim that, that they totally got all negates the it because they say he they say that now he's giving them very valuable information directly contradicts what they said uh, uh, that uh, Mirandizing him didn't make any difference. It delayed for five weeks critical information on the most dangerous area for attacks on the United States, yeah. and that's the area of Yemen, uh, where uh, they are training suicide bombers to come in. I'm totally out of time. Can you give me a yes or no on this? Should Brennan resign? Yes.